Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi. Awesome. Is it wrong that I'm rooting for the animals? We expect and hope that you will. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with like kids like Andres. I just wanted that <laughs> dog to eat him alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Is that, is that, am I a bad person for that? No. You're the best person. You're a very bad person. You're a better person for that. Right? Yeah. What is your relationship to animals? What was it like before? What is it? Has it shifted at all while doing this project? No, I was never a big fan to begin with. I mean, I've got my daughter's got a dog and a cat, and I try to pay as little attention to them as possible. <laughs> nice. Well, personally, I, I, uh, I'm a big fan of animals. I remember when I was a kid, I had a cat. And we had a very, very unique relationship. And I remember that one morning, he put a mouse in my shoes as a gift. Mm -hmm. And, never and one it. day he, dis he disappeared, and, and that was terrible for me. It was like a big drama. How are you doing with that? <laughs> Obviously not well. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> the interesting thing about the show is it's almost like there's two different shows going on, at least in the first two episodes. Uh, I haven't read the book, so I don't know where it's going. You I don't need to read the book for to uh, this. The show is very loosely based. Loosely based. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. We don't exist in the book yeah. at all. Our characters aren't there. Can you tease? You know, at some point it seems inevitable that the four of you will come together or start connecting the dots. When will that happen in these third? Next days? episode. Episode three. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Not only will we tease that, we will tell you when. That's right. Confirmation. And if you push us, we'll tell you how. And what is the dynamic and the relationship like between the two groups? Is it contentious at all? Or is it like, we're, hey, we're all doing the same thing here. Let's work together. Uh, these are definitely four people from completely different backgrounds. And so mm -hmm. when they come together, it is there's a lot of... Um, like tension, uh, there's, there's a lot of passion, a lot of tension. It's a fun dynamic to watch. And romantically, it just seems inevitable that these two our couplings here are going to something's going to happen. Well, this this coupling happens. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This coupling happens. Give me it's episode be great. numbers. Episode, <laughs> episode <laughs> five. <laughs> It's like, actually, it all comes together in a really romantic way. Uh, it's awesome. The show is called Zoo. <laughs> Zoo! Chloe and Jackson, I think the thing that Jackson really loves about Chloe is that, uh, you know, they were, in, they, they, they were in this very tumultuous situation together, which you saw in the pilot episode. And whenever anyone has an experience like that together, I think they form a bond. And so you'll see that grow and there's definitely um, I think it's safe to say like a, uh, there's a romantic interest there and um, it, I think it's going to be fun to watch as the season progresses just the way that all of these characters interact and I think that's the great thing about the show is right it's like it's it's obviously about animals and it's crazy and apocalyptic but the writers have done a great job of creating real characters with real point of views and I feel like that's going to be also fun for the audience to watch is kind of to tune into these different personalities. Is this a limited series? Is it a show that will could go on for multiple seasons? Hopefully. Forever. It could. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But do you know with these 13 episodes is there like a beginning, middle and end? Like will there be closure if it is just these 13 episodes? There's a beginning, middle and cliffhanger. Okay. I would say. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I, I, it definitely leaves room for expansion. Um, and what has it just been like working with the animals? And how much are you actually working with the animals? And how much is it sort of like CGI or split screen or that kind of thing? It's a little of both. I mean, we have animals on set all the time. There's at least one of each thing that we deal with. And then uh, if we need to enhance it with uh, CGI, we do. We usually get the shot, though, with, with the real animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or like in the pilot, I think there's two lions and they make it look like there's yeah. dozens. Several, yeah. So they can, you know, with cameras and the way that they shoot things, it's it makes it look like there's maybe more than we actually have down there. Like Billy said, it's a mixture, green screen, CGI, real animals, the you know, movie magic, it all kind of plays and into what the show is. And stuffed animals. <laughs> <We definitely laughs> Honest, do I'm have definitely stuffed animals. I mean, there are a lot of stuffed animals. <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 They're real looking stuffed animals then, because I can't tell No, them. no, you don't see the you stuffed don't see animals. Them. We, we do. see them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what kind of stuffed animals are they? Like Fancy FAO shorts one, or are they like <laughs> board, Seaside Heights Boardwalk? They, 99 they put FAO shorts to shame. <laughs> Lastly, uh, have we seen the last of Andres? Does he come back? The little boy? The little boy. How badly do you not want him to come back? <laughs> I hate him with a passion. I'm happy if he comes back. I just want him to die an ugly, horrible, bloody death. Oh, you'll imagine have to watch? he sees that. Yeah. What? Imagine he sees the video. Well, he not the actor. Yeah. Not the actor. The character. Yeah. Right. I think you'll be happy we either way. little kids. <laughs> You're going to be pleased with what happens. I am. Yeah. That's all I need to know. Okay, yeah. thank you. <laughs>